guys, welcome back. Today we are making a herd of turtles. A turtle herd. A hurdle turtle. Turtle herd? Turtle hurdle? Something. Anyway, we're making some turtles. And I'm making a turtle turtle, which is my inter resin uh, crystal turtle mold. And to do stunt turtles and whatnot, uh, I made this, which is a mold. Uh, from my interresin turtle, but he's getting kind of dull, so I'm going to make a fresh one. Uh, so I have two stunt turtles, and then in here we're going to make a custom turtle for a friend of Captain Critter who has requested blue and teal because she is from Florida and she loves turtles, and so we are making her a blue and teal turtle. So this one is for Donya. So right now I'm just getting my silicone mixed up. This is my T-Expert um, 10A silicone rubber. Got a link for it in the description box on Amazon. In Amazon US, Tea Expert is amazing. Uh, on Amazon US, I cannot speak for UK or Canada or any other other than the US, but they have Tea Expert has their 64 ounce silicone rubber on sale for like half off, a lot of the time. Um, so, and it's great stuff. I like it. I mean, I used Let's Resin for, for years. I still do. Um, my Zero A uh, silicone is Let's Resin, and it's brilliant. Uh, but T Expert also sells an amazing, amazing silicone. So while we're letting that do its thing, we're going to mix up our teal um, resin. For the turtle, and I have a pump, so one ounce of my Food Him One to One, and I'm using my Ranger Alcohol Ink in Mermaid, which is a beautiful teal color. So I'm going to go ahead and add three drops to that because I want the color relatively prevalent. Definitely want you to be able to see that it's teal. I've already mixed up the resin, I'm just adding the color now. And then I'll let it sit for a little bit to sort of degas itself. And this is, again, my Fooey Tim one to one. Um, I'm make sure that that's all mixed in really well, because I really don't want any streaks. I mean, streaks wouldn't be a terrible thing, but see, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful tail color? I love it. All right, so we're going to let that sit. First thing that we're going to do is pour our silicone, get that out of the way. Uh, this is a four ounce glass ramekin that you've seen me make molds in before. Um, it's just a ramekin that I have left over from my chefy days. And since I just got stupid and decided to stick my grubby old fingerprints all over everything, I'm just going to go over and with a microfiber cloth and get the fingerprints off of our turtle. And then I'm going to pour from the side here. Did I say that there was three ounces of silicone in here? If I didn't, there is. and that covers him very well. I'll just get the extra out of here. Great, 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 great. And if you 
cup and see on the side. This I marked this so I wouldn't forget that this is my silicone cup. <laughs> and I'm getting old. I forget things. Yay, Gen X. Go Gen X! Okay. So we've got that. Ooh, ah! It's trying to come with me. Don't want it to come with me. So tap, 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 tap. Don't use heat on silicone. It's not a good idea. I mean, do it if you want to. If it works for you, do it. Um, it forms a skin on the top of the silicone, uh, which tends to make the uh, curing wonky. So I would, I would, I would know. I would say no. Um, all right, so for our turtle, since she wants blue and teal, what I'm going to do is similar to the turtle that we just covered in silicone. Um, I'm going to do the little dots on him in Snow Queen Blue, which is kind of getting hard to read because I keep wiping it off with alcohol. Um, so I managed to fix, quote unquote, um, my resiners, uh, doodad, um, UV microwave. Um, so it is working right now, uh, but if for some reason something happens and I need to switch back over to my Let's Resin lamp that has never let me down, I will do that. Got some little herb bubbles, which I don't want in there. Okay, so I'm going to give these a quick nuke. And not for very long, just for a few seconds, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Just enough to hold them still. more. And I went a little too far on that one, so clean him up. You know what? I'm just going to cure it and then pop it out. It makes it easier. I'll show you what I mean. So rather than chase wet UV resin, I'll just cure it and then pop out the pieces that aren't right. And then do it again. I know that if I try to chase UV resin around this mold, I am going to make a bigger mess than I started with. So I'm trying to be proactive about that and not make a big mess. All right, so since this is a handmade mold, we are not spraying with alcohol or applying heat. And our teal has bubbled pretty darn well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour really slowly over my stick and I'm going to start over here in his little foot and just let the resin take over. Because resin, much like Jurassic Park, Dinosaurs will find a way. Okay, and we've got it mostly filled up. I'm going to take a. Not that one. That's my other one. There we go. Pokey Jewel Choice. And go through silicone, soft silicone. So I'm just going in gently to sort of 
massaged the mold to release any bubbles that happen to want to stick to it. Being very, very careful in the middle around those little UV jewels because I do not want to dislodge them. But this mold is so detailed. By the way, um, down in the description box there is a discount code for 20% off, 20% off of Inchi Resin. So please do feel free to use that because it's amazing. And that's off your whole order. So it's not just off of one thing or just your first order. You know, it's off of your whole order all the time, no matter what. So I've got a bunch of resin left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour another turtle just in here. And uh, maybe we'll add something to them. Because it's a beautiful color. And the mold is still very, very usable. It's just not as shiny as it used to be. Um, so, I mean, I can always make things in it and then, you know, do a, a lacquer coat, a clear coat on top of it to give it that luster back, but, you know, I could also use, um, you know, more matte pigments in it to where it would still have the crystal effect, but not necessarily, you know, that high shine sparkle that you get a lot from clear resins. There's many things you can do with it. You don't have to chuck it. That would just be a shame, wouldn't it? Or if you know somebody who is just starting with resin, give it to them. Let them practice on it. You know, it's, uh, just give it to them and say, hey, you know, this is an awesome mold. It's still really, really usable. Maybe you want to use it uh, as your stunt mold. You know, so if you have expensive molds, you don't mess them up. You know, just so many things you can do. You know, take them to community centers or schools that have art programs, things like that. All right, so now we have our hurdle turtles. So here's here they are. So we'll name them. Curdle, Myrtle, and Squirtle. Yeah? Like it? I do. So I'm going to let these guys do their thing, cure up, and I will see you when it's time for demo. See you soon. All right. It's time. So let's start first with our mold. Go ahead and loosen it up around the edges. did or the silicone did go up underneath which you know it's I was anticipating so I'm just gonna go around this is just a cuticle trimmer So, there 
times number one. Number two, you'll see that uh, Myrtle here got a little bit of an upgrade. I put a piece of bluey, greeny, uh, holographic, or not holographic, but iridescent film in there. And I do have some trimming to do around her feet. So, there she is. You can see that iridescence underneath there. See, and like I said, with this mold, it's still shiny and it's still pretty, but it's not as shiny as it used to be. So I will do some cleanup around her feet. And then here's the one for Donya. Our Snow Queen Blue and Teal Turtle. Look at that. So pretty. I love it. So here's our hurdle turtles. trimmed up, gorgeous and beautiful, our little turtles, our turtle mold, here's the new one, so, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you all for being here so much, uh, if I, uh, if I have earned your subscription, please do, it's free, no cost. Free entertainment. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Take care. Cheers.